You're listening to the best of Flight 1080 on AM 1080, 104.1 FM, KSCO. So uh, joining us today, Jim, we have... Well, it's April Dawn. April Dawn. Is this the month of April? It is, huh? It is. It's her month. Yes, yes, it's your month. So April Dawn is joining us today, Jim, and she is going on tour, she says, right. uh, playing music up and down the coast. Yes? It's not as, it's uh, there we not go. not as interesting as who's actually running the planet. <laughs> it's really well, not. No, no, but it's interesting. To, it, it's still fun, right? It's still fun for you, right? Well, I don't know yet. I'm really hoping. Okay. Can you put that mic closer to you, April? I, uh, you know, K- Kenny Thomas gave me a guitar mm-hmm. because I, I don't know if you've heard the, the lyrics to the song that I wrote. <laughs> um, well, you know, don't laugh, Jim. I think it's, I think it's going to be a big hit for, for Kenny. And um, so I, I wanted to learn how to play the guitar so I could play the song myself. And I just cannot do it. I, I can't believe I, I'm watching YouTube videos because you know, how else do I learn? I don't know. And they, they say, well, this is one of the first chords you need to learn. And it's an e, e something. You have to push your two fingers here on the second fret, one here on this string and the other there on that string. And, oh, man, I don't have time for that. My fingertips are too fat. And then the guy says, you'll build up calluses, you know, as, as you play. I, I don't have time for that. I'm too old. I, just, I can't <laughs> learn to play the guitar. It's just not happening you're, for me. You're giving up before you even began. Well, yeah. I mean... <laughs> I thought you. I thought you just you know pluck the string and it would play some music, but I didn't know you had to position your fingers. <laughs> you have to hold two different strings to play one note. That doesn't make sense Sometimes to me. Sometimes more than two. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, boy, I'll leave it to don't people even like get him you. Start on chords. I'll leave it to people like you to play because I just. How long have you been playing guitar? Thirty, some odd. Do I have to? Say how old I am. Here. No, no, no. But <laughs> it, it, that's impressive since she's only like like twenty one. <laughs> right. <laughs> So uh, you've been playing since you were a little girl, I'm assuming? I, I was 17 when I started, hmm. and um, it's painful. You do have to go through the process. You have to suffer. What, what's the most painful part of that, that learning process? It's your fingers. You just Oh, it's, physically painful. Yeah, the strings are digging in, and they start to bleed, and it's terrible. Oh, man, I didn't know it was going to be that. Oh, I'll just forget yeah, that, but don't, dude. Don't they have those little things you can put on your finger that make it hurt less, like allows you to pick do on they? the I thought they did. And then, you know, like like little things you put on your fingertips that are like little like plastic extensions or whatever. Or I'll have to try that if I go on vacation. And don't don't people have like you know picks too? That's in the other hand. Do you have a pick? Oh, okay. But I I, yeah. So (laughs) yeah, you don't use that to to, you know put on the frets. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I know you don't use a pick for that part. It's on the other end. Please don't give up. Just try again. I'm. I don't think there's any hope for me. I really, really don't. I'll, I guess I can try it again, but I'm not holding hope, for, not even for myself. And with an attitude like that, what's, I'm destined to just go and just fail. That's, that's, oh. Well, Dave, you might be lucky. Technology might end up being your friend. I, I bet you there's probably an app mm. on your iPad that mm-hmm. will allow you to play guitar chords by just pressing like buttons on a piano keyboard. There is. You can do anything. I, I don't know all of what's available, but I heard that you don't even have to be a musician anymore. You just tell the computer to do it. It'll play the instruments. It'll write the songs. I, I don't know wow. why we even have humans anymore, really. We're, yeah, this is, this is a really cool time that we're living in uh, when it comes to like artificial intelligence. and all. I'm excited well, by that Dave, stuff. Dave, remember like, like five or six years ago, mm. like... You know, I was interviewing these people that were doing this uh, startup where they had this uh, artificial intelligence that would write songs for you, and we tried it, (laughs) and it ended up just being a complete mess. Remember, you know, you you don't remember that? Well, now, Jim, if you try it nowadays, they can actually write a pretty good song. It's probably better than it was like yeah, five, five absolutely. Or six years it's ago. growing by leaps and bounds. I mean, every every month, every week, it's, it's growing. But I still think there's a human element that's involved. I think there's a, I, I mean, artificial intelligence can is can only operate within currently can only operate with the parameters of whatever program that you give it. Uh, human ingenuity is is part of breaking beyond the parameters. It's outside the box, right? It's based on your own personal, you know, AI can't have the personal experience that motivates a song, right? So AI you- cannot suffer the way humans suffer, so. Ah, you know, that's a very interesting comment because music, I guess, um, well, how, what, what goes into a song? What, what's, 
is it pain? Is it love? Is it happiness? Is it what, what is most inspiring out of From all the emotions? Yeah, out of all the emotions that we run through, what yeah. do you find to be the most inspirational of those emotions? It's basically emotion itself. Any emotion that's larger than I can handle <laughs> goes mm -hmm. into a song. So the stronger, the yeah. better, though. The stronger the emotion, the better. Well, I don't know about better because yeah. it's not my job to say which song is better or not. Well, is but the stronger the emotion, the more in, you the know, more prolific the song. Yeah, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. I am with writing songs. Okay. Right. So, so when I, I mean, what what emotion? inspires you to write more songs whether they're good or bad but just just the act of writing out songs which to me is really tough um which is the one that inspires me the to, most to write the most yeah it, it, it evolves it definitely evolves in the past it's been pain and suffering and mm -hmm. then it evolved into um i decided just sick and tired of being you know in pain so mm -hmm. i started writing more positive uplifting songs mm -hmm. and and then I and then I realized, you know, I can't just write positive, uplifting songs all the time because it's just not honest. Mm -hmm. So it's I've gone back to being more, you know, just raw life. Raw. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I I would think that it. I would think that I would have to write happy songs, April, because if I wrote sad songs, I think I would cry up there on stage and i don't think that would be very cool i recommend i highly recommend for you the ukulele oh yeah is yeah. that a happier song the happier notes well i heard that it, you can't be unhappy on a ukulele but i somehow <laughs> managed and also it's not as painful ah you know i was i was wondering if maybe a bass guitar because they only have five strings, would allow me to have more room, more room for my big fat fingertips. <gasps> That's an excellent idea. Ah, see, I don't know, <laughs> Timothy, mm -hmm. our our your Wednesday co-host mm -hmm. is a bass player, mm -hmm. and I've heard it from his bandmates. Yeah, because he's got he's been in, in and out of bands. He forms bands like 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 Hollywood celebrities get married or whatever, mm -hmm. right? And, and his and his bandmates always tease him about ba about bass players not really being musicians. That's just me. <laughs> yeah, what are they talking? About? I love the sound of a good bass. Dude. No, I but I mean, I, love it. I think it, it's 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 a gentle teasing. It's like maybe they're just jealous. Kind of like a there, there's a, there's a joke. What do you call a ma a male musician without a girlfriend? Hmm. Do you know the answer? <laughs> do you know the do you know the answer, April? The bass player. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> In general, what do you call a male musician without no, a girlfriend? I don't, I don't know. And 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 the punchline is homeless. See, see, April gets it. <laughs> the thing I resent about male musicians is they don't have to work out or they don't have to get fit. They just, whatever. They play yeah, music dude. and they get the chicks. It just, doesn't matter. Just let your gut hang out and just <laughs> show off the bald spot get in your, your head and it doesn't matter, dude. The chicks just come running up. The chicks just dig them. I'm going to play the harp and just... Are, are you upset that you have to work out to get the chicks to come out for you there, April? <laughs> Sorry, I just, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> If you could play any any instrument, April, any instrument, if you could master any instrument, what which, which instrument would it be? I would love to play the violin. I've never played that before. Do you I know anything about I, playing it? Nothing. Yeah, that it that would be easier to carry than a piano. So yeah, you right? see, that's why you should have been Asian. See, that's the right. thing is, if you're Asian, they they, they give you a choice: you learn you you uh, violin or piano. I remember because I was talking to a friend of mine, Peter Kuo. He, uh, he grew up in Taiwan, and he and you know he was presented with this choice by his parents, or actually his parents were discussing the choice with him, right? And and they picked for him the violin because they were saying, well, you know what, um, a violin is much easier to carry around than a piano, and uh, they were in Taiwan at the time in the nineteen late seventies or whatever, and, and when Taiwan was a uh, under martial law. And apparently his parents managed to piss off the government. So it's like, if we have to run, we could take your violin with us. We can't take a piano with us. So you're going to learn to play the violin. And so he ended up playing the violin because he's a good, he was a good Asian son. Unlike me, who was a terrible Asian son, who, who took piano lessons, totally sucked at it, didn't like it. Just like, oh, I have no musical talent whatsoever. <laughs> I have no musical talent whatsoever. Oh, I don't know if it's talent versus desire, Jim. I mean, I could be the most talented guitarist in the world april and we'll never know because i'm never going to try 
Ooh, you see that? The mm -hmm. moment that your parents tell you you have to do something, it is all over. Well, is it true? Because I always think it's like it, it's almost like it's like baseball, right? It's like a batting average. You can if you have a child. Not that I have any, but having observed growing up and then now observing my brothers with their kids like you can only impart certain things on your kids you might want you may, you may have a list of 100 things you want to impart in your kids but mm -hmm. you, but you only get a certain percentage that impart that that actually take hold now now for my parents they wanted me to go to med school well that was a big flaming turd of failure <laughs> right but they did impress upon me don't smoke. Mm -hmm. Don't do drugs. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, other than the occasional hit of crack cocaine and meth, <laughs> I, I, I total, I don't smoke unless, of course, it's really good weed. But you get the idea, right? right. I don't re I re really don't smoke. I really don't do drugs. I never had the desire to. In, in fact, I can't even light a match. That's how inept I am. I can't even light a match with the strike because I've never had the practice. And so, and heaven forbid they actually have, give me a lighter that has a little flint thing. I probably can't make that operate either. That's how pathetic i am i have to use a that's stick a good light. thing jim that is a good thing well um i like you know i like to think that and i raised my kids they're mm -hmm. not done being raised um i just want them to be good people mm -hmm. get a job be honest and you know and things will work out dude you can be whatever you want to be but just be honest be a be a good person now, i have very specific um requirements for my children i mm -hmm. told them nothing speedy okay you can do you can smoke a little weed, okay? <laughs> okay. Little do not do anything. No coke, no crack, no meth. Okay. And do not drink and drive. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Good people, you know, I, I hope for the best, but those other things well, are just, you know, non-negotiable. <laughs> well, let's see here. Uh, have, you, have you ever heard the Chris Rock joke about the dad's number one job with a daughter? You know, what is I, it? What is it, Jim? Uh, according to Chris Rock, the dad's number one job is keep your daughter off the pole until she uh, keep her daughter <laughs> off the pole. So right. So if your daughter's swinging from a pole, you as a father effed up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put that one on the list. Um, that kind of goes without saying. Jim, unfortunately, yeah. when I went to visit my children mm -hmm. at they used to live together as roommates. Mm -hmm. They had a house and they rented. And then, so I have two daughters and they had a bunch of female roommates. So it was just a girl bachelorette pad. And they, they had a freaking pole mm -hmm. in their, oh, man. Yeah. Okay. So I should well, have had that on my list. But I, Well, to, to be fair, I've heard that it's good exercise. <laughs> and, I, and I don't doubt it. I'm sure, I mean, you're, I'm sure your thighs are in really good shape. Well, I mean, your thighs, you know, that's how you walk. That's how I walk, Jim. I use my thighs. Well, well no, but are, and my, are your, you know, th are your thighs good enough to keep you hanging upside stuff. down from the pole without sliding down the pole, without using your hands? I haven't tried it, Jim, but I suspect yes. No, I, I would probably pull a groin just trying to try it out. <laughs> just, right? It's the best of Flight 1080 on AM 1080, KSCO, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz.